Gruesome Magazine. Hello once again, I'm your host, Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in theatrical and streaming horror movies. Each week, Gruesome Magazine Groove Crew will take a look at very spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are reviewing Night Watch, Demons Are Forever, available streaming on Shutter beginning May 17th, 2024. Uh, before we get into all that, let me introduce uh, my crew, starting off with Crystal Cleveland, the Living Dead Girl. How you doing? I think you're freaky and I like you a lot. <laughs> so I've done that literally before on this podcast, but they didn't have the song in the movie like they did this time. Ah, well, simpatico. You know what I'm, you know what I'm <laughs> talking about, right? The ant were like, it's very good. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also joining us, <laughs> the award winning filmmaker, Christopher G. G. Moore. Moore. Uh oh. Yeah. I think he's frozen. Is he frozen? Yeah, he's he frozen. Truly frozen. He's truly he's frozen. He's got to really be frozen. Yeah. Either that or I was like, wait a second. He's a is really he, good he actor. Being right? funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Freeze. I mean, at least if you're going to get frozen, at least you just have that expression. <laughs> like, there's nothing it's very just, weird. It's just like a little happy guy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. All right. Well, let me go ahead and while I'll we wait for Chris to uh, jump back in, we'll go ahead and get through all the synopsis and stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to give you a review of this film. Um, we'll start off with the review. It will be spoiler free. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be our first impressions, and then we'll dive into a discussion. We'll Get into some spoilers. There's spoilers. This is a 30, it is a sequel to a 30 year old film. There'll be spoilers. There'll be spoilers. There he is. Um, and then we'll wrap things up with our our, our uh, score one to five and our favorite scene. Let's say, let's say hello to Christopher G. Moore, who has made yes. it back onto the podcast. How are you doing, sir? Doing well. I was sorry. The night watchman got me. <laughs> yeah, he got, got you. He got you. <laughs> I, mean, I had to sneak off, but I snuck back <laughs> in. You got back in for the sequel. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you made it, sir. I'm glad you made it. Uh, all right, Thank let's you. take a look at the card before we get things going here. Boom. That's the wrong one. Let's Boom. take a look at that. That's a, that's a <laughs> sneak preview of something coming out later. If you caught that, get, get you, get, you know, be happy. Free all right, Night Watch Demons Are Forever 2024 available on Shutter uh, beginning May 17, 2024. The synopsis is a 22 year old medical student, Emma has just taken a job at the Night Watch in the same forensic department where her parents were once almost killed by the famed psychotic police inspector, Wormer. The events led to her mother's suicide, and her father, Martin, has turned in uh, to tranquilizer to suppress the memories. Determined to investigate what exactly happened to them, Emma tracks down and confronts Wormer, only to unintentionally reawaken his bloodthirst and ignite a violent revenge. On everyone who sealed his destiny years ago. That's a lot. Okay. That's a lot. Yep. Written and directed by Ola Bornadal. Uh, the cast includes Fanny Leander Bornadal. Hey, I wonder if they're related. <laughs> Nikolai Coster Waldo oh. um, from Game of Thrones. Kim mm -hmm. uh, Bodnia. Uh, Sanja Richer. Uff Pilgard. Casper Jensen. Okay, Paprika you, Steen and Nina Rask. So why didn't you put the boyfriend anywhere in there? <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I just didn't copy his name. Did Alex, I do he's thing? from Vikings. He's oh, from is Vikings. he? Alex yeah, he's Hoff, a very Hoff, uh, important character in Vikings. Uh, Alex Hoff Anderson? Okay, yes. sorry. I must have must okay. just hit the uh, thing right as I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm just messing. He was scared he's going to mispronounce it, so he just like I'm just going oh, to it out because because the rest of those <laughs> names were so easy, right? I was not I even going to say a word because I'm like I I literally could not do it better. That, that, I could be right. I could be wrong. Only only they know. Um, <laughs> the Danish stuff. <laughs> well, well, hard. maybe half the world knows. Anyway, I. Um, <laughs> mm, mm, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, before we get into this, Wolf. we hope you enjoy this review <laughs> and many others that we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, share with a friend. Each yes. click is easy and free to do and will help us find more horror fans just like you. Yeah. All right, let's find out what our first impressions were. Crystal mm -hmm. Cleveland, you're up first. What did you think of Nightwatch? Demons are forever. So I, the first scene of the movie, I 
really didn't like at all. No, like no. I watched it. Well, because when he started banging his head against the glass, I was like, oh, I will tell you that I did love this film. I mm. really enjoyed this film. That's why I want to say, like, I feel like that first scene doesn't really do it justice, doesn't do the film justice. I think it gets far better as it goes along. I think that the more you get to know the characters, the more I liked it. I think they actually really developed the characters very, very well. I think all the acting is great. I think the cinematography is fine. Great. You know, no real issue there. The story was good. I mean, this is definitely a psychological thriller with horror elements, you know, so definitely if you don't think Silence of the Lambs is a horror film, you don't think this is a horror film. I think it is. So I think I I'm fully great with this film being a horror film. I mean, considering not as scary or not as good as Silence of the Lambs. Sorry. But I had a good time with this film. I, hmm, I'm trying to think. There were some moments I really liked the way it was written. I did kind of like some of the misdirection that they had. There's not a lot of gore. Very, actually very little gore. But that's not really what it's about. I, I, I mean, there were just moments that were very human. And it's a little bit sad in some regard as far as some of the characters and what happens but yeah i i know that this was subtitled and i know a lot of people have a difficult time with that but i really really liked it and enjoyed it so yeah i mean yeah <laughs> all right i it's haven't seen the first one though i'm just gonna be honest with you I didn't uh, yeah and we, we i guess we should take time to say this is a sequel to a uh 30 year old movie from the mid nineties called yeah. I watch. Well, I watch. <laughs> what, was your, what was your first impression of night watch demons are forever? Let's not say 30 years ago. Cause that makes me feel really old. Oh, um, yeah. The um, I, I haven't seen the first one either. And I, I I'm wondering if there might be elements that might inform mm -hmm. this, especially when you have like the two older characters, their relationship. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it's, yeah. yeah, I will say that. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with Crystal. That the opening scene, I was like, Ooh, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. Um, cause, cause if you're trying to be all creepy Hannibal electrish, it's not working. Yeah. Um, but then it gets, but then you get to, to know these specific characters and I feel like the daughter character is really amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, and then, then it, then it was like, well, this is a comedy or <laughs> it does. There's, there's a thing. And when they're, they're in class learning about bodies or whatever, I was like, Oh, well, that's, that's a really, that's like a joke yeah. you hear, like in the uh, <laughs> police Academy or something. Um, um but, uh, but yeah, it, it gets kind of interesting. And I think I wasn't really sure what to think. I think I will say, I think the title is very misleading because demons are forever. And you just automatic, automatically assume it's going to be about yep. at, not, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but it, it's, it's really not supernatural uh per se but it uh but it does have some really interesting dark stuff yeah I, i'd say I, I would say yeah it's very science of lambs um especially with victims and um mm -hmm. and i feel like the daughter is almost like a clary starling character who's trying to yeah. be strong and stuff um because there's an interrogation scene with her that's really great um but yeah i think it's got some really creepy moments it's got some really interesting um uh personal moments between characters. Uh, there are moments of like, I don't, I'm not sure why we, <laughs> why we need to go out on this football field or, <laughs> I mean, there, there, there's moments that kind of take it out there. It's like, I, did, did I just start watching a Hallmark movie? What's going on here? Um, uh, but then, but then, yeah, I think by the end, it's got some really cool moments, that, especially the way it plays out. Um, And I, there, there's like, <laughs> I think we were talking this before recording, but there's a character I, I call him. <laughs> I, it feels like if if the problem child kid had grown up and become a female with a mullet. <laughs> yes, I love her. Uh, I love her. <laughs> uh, but I thought she was great. She's very. Uh, it's it's one of those things where you can't really put your finger on the person because they're 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 very androgynous mm -hmm. almost, but then you're not really yeah. sure where where they're going with it. But it's a really kind of fun character, and I think there's some moments with her that that are great as well so yeah that um, real quick that's another actress that didn't make the list for some <gasps> reason um sarah you. victoria uh yeah, yeah. Uh, sarah's a great name there you go yeah. sarah there you go um, <laughs> 
but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it, it gets really, it gets really interesting, especially towards the end. I, I will say I, the, the twist element I kind of saw coming <laughs> from a mile away. Um, but uh, overall, I thought it was an interesting, you know, story that plays out. Um, and it doesn't necessarily go where you expect it to go, but it's got some really great performances. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I was trying to research this, but the guy who plays the father, he looks like an American actor that I never. Well, he's Game of He's in Game of Thrones. Yeah, he's in Game. Of Is Thrones. it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. He's so Jamie he's... Lannister. He's like. Oh, okay. I, I for some reason I was like he's speaking in this <laughs> yeah. other language, so I just assume. He was just, you know, like when you have those kind of, uh, you know, uh, people who look similar. Yes. <laughs> that looks yes. like this guy. I've seen in other stuff. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then yep. I don't You've feel seen. so stupid. You have seen him in other stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I don't feel so, so stupid. No. Um, no but yeah. And he, all... and he was in the, in the, in the, in the movie 30 years ago. So. Okay. He was? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what? Like. But, yeah. Same yeah, but same over... character? yeah. Same character. Yeah. Same character. But yeah. overall, it's 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 a really good film. It's the you know that the whole uh, ward or whatever they work out of is creepy as AF. Mm. Oh, so yeah. yeah, it's it's got some really great moments and it's shot it's very horror, well horror, and got good performances. So yeah, it's it, despite a few of the, the weird things, <laughs> weird yeah. directions it goes, I I still enjoyed it. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect with this. I I wasn't familiar with the original one. I hadn't seen it, and I I kind of wanted. I, I was I was set to watch it, and I decided against it. I thought everybody else would watch them because I wanted to see if the movie held up as a on yeah, its own. And I, I think it does. I I mean, you get the idea. There's a story, a backstory, but you get enough of it that I I wasn't very confused with you know our characters. You know, you, it's 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 very straightforward with that. Um, but all the cast was really fantastic. I I really liked our lead. Um, who plays Emma, and she she had a strong motivation and a strong uh, uh, desire to you know discover all this stuff. So it was real easy to get behind her and and side with her and go along the journey. It wasn't like what are you doing? It's like okay, I understand what you're doing. Let's go. Let's find out what's happening because it's it's very important to you. Even though the previous movie probably would have told us a lot about what she was looking for, but. Mm-hmm. There are new secrets because it has been, you know, a couple decades and mm-hmm. there are, um, well, what happens with time happens in this movie too. And we, um, they, you know, red herrings and real herrings are out there <laughs> to get you good. And uh, I I found, I, I think it's a horror film because there are some very tense scenes oh, in here. It, there's, yeah, there's, sure. there's a part yeah. when, um, when she visits War- Wormer, she finds Wormer and visits him. That I thought was pretty, pretty tense. Um, and, and so, regardless, I really enjoyed this. As, um, but I, I followed it more like the, the human drama really got to me. You know, the relationship between her and her father, and her father's awkwardness and trying to fit back into society, <laughs> especially when he goes into class and makes a fool out of himself. Oh it just, God. it, it just, it made, it just made all the characters really human. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I like that. Even the villain had, a, you know, had something going on. It wasn't a whole lot, <laughs> but our villains, maybe there's villains. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's, um, yeah, I I found myself really enjoying it. I don't know if it's the it's not the best thing out there, but it it's really solid. It's definitely worth a watch. And um, yeah, I mean, there's it. It's really hard to say anything yeah, really bad about it, right? It's, yeah. it's re- just really solid yeah. film. Really solid film. Yeah. I don't know how I much mean, of the spoilers we want to get into, but well, I don't want to spoil too much because, yeah. like, I I feel like this movie does a lot of things right. Like I said, it's no Silence of the Lambs, okay? It's, it's not okay. No, no. But it's not trying to be. It's really not but trying to be. <laughs> but, it, it's, it's, but, it, but if you like that sort of film, I think you'll like this film too. Because I, shockingly, I was surprised I liked this. I thought, I totally thought this was going to be supernatural and it is not supernatural at all. And I really still enjoyed it. And I, I love supernatural films. And yeah. even when I discovered it wasn't, I was like, Oh, I don't have a problem with this because I really was invested in the characters. 
Yeah, it's more like and I, a, the I 90s. I love that they made them, you know? So yeah. each yeah. character is so written so individual. Like, they really are different, but they're not cliches. They're just, they do have their own personality. A lot of times when screenwriters write a script, they you can tell that the same person is writing the dialogue because they'll use the same sort of tone and verbiage in their... Mm -hmm. You know, but, he, um, but he got the adults and the kids and separated them all out nicely. Yeah. They, they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the kids felt like kids. Well, yeah. and, I mean, I mean, there's just there's even just college just kids. just really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Still like <laughs> this, this is probably a weird thing to point out, but like one of my favorite pieces of dialogue is when she's had that rough night or whatever. And she goes and, and hooks up with her boyfriend or whatever. Oh and, yeah. And he's like, do you consent to this? Do you consent? You know? And so it's like, I feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, like but it's only been two times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh. I just thought that was a really, it seemed very natural. And I feel like in today's atmosphere, that seems like something you do. Cause you know, mm -hmm. cause sometimes people get in situations that they don't want it to be wanted to sleep with them if it's because of this or that. So, but yeah, I think, I think, um, I think it's interesting because it's one of those things to where the, the the most important part of this story is this girl who's trying to communicate with her dad. Yeah. And instead of instead of the instead of it being the kid who won't communicate with the with the father, mm -hmm. it's the father who won't communicate with the kid. And and to go to go to certain levels illegally <laughs> and other ways and do things that are very uncomfortable with creepy individuals. Just so that you can have a better relationship with your father. That is yeah. a that is a weird that's a awesome that's, that's balls. Sort of an awesome yeah. weird way. It's great to, motivation, right? Yeah, because it's all about yeah. it's it's all about you know this is not <laughs> Fast and the Furious, but it is all about family. You know? <laughs> yeah, and mm -hmm. in a oh, very creepy way. Fast and so yeah, to put yourself in these weird, awkward, just creepy ass situations just because you just want to dis you want to reconnect with your dad because mm -hmm. they both both lost their mom and and she's been left out and there's she has all these questions well, and he won't answer it's, yeah. it's crazy too because rarely do you ever see a film where the child is asking the dad to move on like have you thought about mm -hmm. meeting someone new i loved it though i loved that because seeing your you would hope that your child would feel that way after a certain amount of time because you certainly don't want them to wallow in this. Uh, you, the, anyone who wants their parent to stay in that sort of state is just the most selfish. Look, my father, my mom passed away years ago, and I know it was fast for people that he started dating someone three months after she died. But I will tell you this: he was married to her for like thirty something years. It was like crazy, and. Like one of the things I said to people was, did you have to live in that house alone after you had lived with someone for 30 years? I mean, what are you talking about? Like I'm his own, I'm his own daughter and her daughter. And I get it. The sadness, like, don't you want them to like not live in depression? Fuck people who feel that way. I just don't, I don't, I think that's so selfish. You know, it's like you. I love that she wanted him to like have a better, happier life, or even yeah. seek out treatment. You know, even though that kind of well, she even says that. the psychiatrist's yeah, well, yeah. cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she and she she was in in her way, yeah. in her way, crazy way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crazy can be cute, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, th I I was thinking that this movie plays out like a '90s slasher version of slasher when we were really weren't getting. We were still getting Freddy's and Jason's, but not as prominently as we were in the eighties and slashers like to cook rabbits and become you and dress up in plastic things and dance with the, <laughs> you know, they were, they were people. Like, slashers just became normal people that were twisted. And this one, this kind of fits in that. Zone. Well, we had, yeah, we had that whole, uh, yeah. Nineties, two thousands is all about like serial killers and, you know, people trying to figure this thing out or, or, or things like mute witness or, or any kinds of those type of things that have. And, and in this one, I think had a really interesting, we had like a main villain and kind of a, his uh, minion collection or whatever. Of, collection but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess a collection. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But just that main villain where you have somebody who's, who seems vulnerable, but <laughs> you know, I, I never yes. thought I'd have somebody who's almost like a, like a blind person or whatever who's just like 
You gotta watch that was out. Scary. Okay. Yeah, he's got I his actually, little collection of yeah. stuff. <laughs> I know. Like, how was he allowed to have that? Yeah. In the... well, well, but that but, wasn't yeah. real hair. That was fake hair. Uh-huh. That was like dyed hair. Like okay. that was like yeah. I, th- I thought. I thought. I thought his his Mm-mm. his without swelling. His kid gave him that. I'm, I'm that looked that. like okay. Look, I'm a woman, and I dye my hair mm-hmm. clearly, you know. And it looked like swat, like hair swatches, the way it was, and how the colors were laid out, like mm-hmm. how when when you see swatches for hair dye, okay. But yeah, but there was a there was a box that had scalps in it, though. Oh, Jesus! Did I? Miss I was that? like, how did how did he have Jesus. that in there? Oh well, no, that's Maybe, that's, I, that's when I it guess got. We, I, I guess we find swatches. out later, right? I saw the swatches, but later on, there's a box that has scalps in it because he. But that would make sense, though, considering yeah. what you whole, know. The spoilers. Yeah. Mm. But but yeah, it, it, it's yeah, it's got some okay. Because I thought they were wigs, and I thought that that I thought it was just to like placate, you know, just to like give the idea of that. But maybe, maybe it was more than that. Well, that the, the, she was about to get to that box when she first is in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. when 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 creepy. No, guy that, was up. Creepy. that was creepy. <laughs> and then, then when he's like, that was he, creepy. He he knows exactly how her hair is, and I was like, it's it's almost like the it, that's where the science lambs thing comes into because you know yeah. when he smells Clary Starling and and he can yep. say with her, with him he's like I could smell the stuff in your hair. And yeah. Stuff. Ew. Oh <laughs> no, thank you. And then what 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 was he saying? He's like in particular like. Danish women or something, their hair is like extra thick and like I was like, oh no, Jesus, <laughs> dude, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I guess everyone has their thing. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. Well, let, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's give a, a score one to five, and then uh, select a favorite scene. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Crystal, you're up first. Um, I'm going to give this, oh, it's hard. Drum roll, if you please. I'm going to give it a 3.75. <laughs> I almost want to give it a four. Mm. Mm. But I'm going to give it a 3.7. Mm, it's hard. Um, so there's a lot of, I, I have, well, yeah, that's really good for me. But four is like, man, if, if pretty much if I give you four, you're probably going to be my top two. Well, it sounds like you like this enough to be in your top I, 10. It is possible. I mean, it would probably be in there right now for sure. Um, but we are only in May, so. Well, almost June. Yeah. So halfway there, that's like a long time. That's ages in horror time, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, well, there's lots of favorite scenes I have. I'm not going to take the most obvious because the most obvious is definitely after the door is locked, but I am going to take the scene of my favorite character, the redhead, Mm. how she interacts with the dude and how she handles the situation. I just think she's so awesome. And she's so BA and I really liked the way she was written. And then how she even continues to like, make sure she tries to help her friend. I mean, she's just, she's just tough. And I, I like that tough without being, Mm. I don't know. But like you know, there's like that fine. She wasn't a she wasn't a superhero, but she yeah. she was very smart. She, yeah. yeah, and you don't see that yeah. very often when people are in situations like that. Exactly, and that that was I, you know, that's what the way you'd hope that you would react if you were in that situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just not me. Kind of, I'd be screaming. You gotta do something about that. You gotta do something about that mullet, though. Um. <laughs> oh, Christopher, you're up next. Your yeah, the, for the, one yeah, the, the mullets felt like I was watching a yeah. movie, movie from 40 years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, I, um, I'll give it a four. Uh, no, I, I, good, good. I, I think, um, even though <laughs> I was like, why are they kicking soccer balls in the middle of this? Film? He got one I, scene, that I, one scene. I, I do, like, I, I do have a feeling, it's like, I have a feeling that yeah. does play into the uh, first film. Maybe, yeah. maybe it, it might in the first one, yes. but I, I just found it to be it, it kind of like. It was Took a detour from the movie mm-hmm. that kind of sucked me out of it. I was like, what and that whole weird here? friend who who is a returning cast member, you know, the, I loved him. Great, yeah, he was, but he was so strange and 
Well, yeah. do you kind know what happened? I mean, he literally talked about what happened. Yeah. He cut off his finger to save his life. So we know yep, what yeah. already happened in the yeah. first film. Although, which, although I, yeah. Although I do, I do want to say the, the creepy the creepy guy, sidekick guy, I'm not sure <laughs> what he did would, would, would work normally. But anyway, uh, <laughs> let me know. I'm getting this color right deal. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll get a four. Um, I think mainly because the, some of the moments are very strong. Um, mm -hmm. and so I, I, I definitely would have picked the, the, the moment that Crystal said, cause I think that's, that's something you don't see in these type of films very often where you have a really smart captive person. Um, but I'll say that I think the moment where the daughter, uh, in tr interrogates the guy so she can get video mm -hmm. of this guy to help her dad. And I was like, cause it's such a, cause you don't know what's going to happen or what mm -hmm. the guy's going to do. And right. So it's very it's very tense, but at the same time, you see she's like, see dad, you know. She's tough. I was like, like, man, I, I I'm not I couldn't have done that. No. <laughs> I would have no. gone. I would have done that. Um, so I I'd say that just the way that is and the way that you, she uses her camera, the light on her camera and stuff, it's so creepy, but but powerful. Uh, that's yeah. a very powerful scene. And the shot inside the camera when you see the yeah, or inside yeah. the phone, right? Yeah. Oh my god! It really yeah, it's actually spooky. Oh, the oh. the lens flares. Sorry, the lens flares yes. during that scene. <gasps> beautiful. Yeah, JJ like, Abrams, Abrams loved that part. There you that go. That was there beautiful. Go. I got to say, call out, like, call out yeah. to JJ. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I I'm gonna give this a four as well. Uh, for me, it's because I really gave a shit about the characters. I like yeah. the characters. I like all the characters, even yeah. the ones that were bad characters. Not mm -hmm. that they were written bad. They were just Evil. Um, Evil. Yeah. So I, I, I was surprised how much I liked this. I don't. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't. I'm not confident a whole lot of horror fans will like it, but I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'm not in tune. I don't know because it feels kind of out of time, a little bit. I uh, see. I don't feel that way. Okay. I, I feel like yeah, but, uh, but I don't. I don't know. I think because I don't it's, feel that I think it's because foreign. I think because it's foreign, I think that's what makes it feel a little bit not. That's, that's possible. That's possible. They always do kind of. But I still, but I still really found myself enjoying this. Uh, very strong entry, and I um, my favorite scene is well, I'm going to pick the same scene basically, but it's after that because um, when she starts exploring the room and the door gets oh, yeah. shut and she's that's locked horror. in, and he it starts getting. And then, and then you see him moving around in the background. Yeah. I just love it when the character, when you know, like, it's just no, so it freaking. Me, but that got oh. me for some it, reason. Doc, I, that's why I was like, that's the obvious scene for me. That's the best mm -hmm. scene. That's why I was like, I'm not gonna take that one. I'm gonna let y'all have it. But I was like, oh, f oh, f no, no, well, there's, uh, no, no. Well, no, there's no. a similar scene later on where someone else is in the room with them, I like that, and mm. talking, and he's having to be quiet and everything. That's a very tense scene cool. too. Yeah. See this, yeah. I mean, reg I, I will say, like for heart fans, those moments, those kind of scary moments and stuff, mm -hmm. I think will work. I think, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then I you have uh, because it's got some funny and lighter moments. It makes those more intense. Right. Because I, I got to be honest, thing, I yep. was a lit as soon as the door was locked. For some reason, like I actually got a pit of my stomach feeling i was like oh uh, i know because you don't know I what's going like to happen this. do you really yeah. in this really dark <laughs> room mm -hmm. uh yeah no. yeah mm -hmm. and I, I know, another scary part is the mullet that's <laughs> no other <laughs> mullet for a whole different we reason we don't get too many mullets in horror films no no more mullets in horror worn so professionally as well so yeah. make right. our mullet again <laughs> oh, God. there you go no um all right there you go that's our review for... oh gosh you guys killing me mm. night watch demons yeah. are forever check it out on shutter and let us know in the comments down below what you think of it crystal christopher thank you for joining me this was a lot of fun thanks for having us all right let's say good night get out of here good night <laughs>